I've seen firsthand what happens when you don't have a democracy functioning optimally, right? I think so many of the problems that I saw growing up, a broken economy as evidenced by the fact that my mother had to work multiple jobs just to provide for our family and we still needed Section 8 housing and food stamps to get by. Or the broken healthcare system that we have that required my grandmother to work well past the age of retirement just to pay for the high cost of prescription drugs and medical procedures that are not fully covered by Medicare. This and so much more is a representation of the fact that we don't have a truly representative democracy in this country. And now matters have only gotten worse. And so I was proud to join with my friend and colleague, John Sarbanes, uh, and of course, all of you on this panel and pushing to get these reforms done. I, I was happy to also co-author key provisions of this legislation, and I'm not giving up uh, that we will get this done, to John's point. I, I'm as optimistic as ever that we will win this fight.